Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest of my newscast. I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's going on? I'm J Dog. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm not going to plan to make any newscast today because I made one yesterday. But uh, I seriously need to make one. Um, it's just a response of that one person's video that I saw earlier at work today, and um, it's about police brutality, and uh, I just watched this video, and um, it kind of disturbs me a little bit. First of all, when I look at this video, I didn't watch it at first, because, you know, to all these people talking about race and stuff, and black people get har harassed in Huntsville, well, um, got some news for you. Well, if you go on YouTube, and you see all these all these kinds of police brutalities, it doesn't happen to just black folks. It just happened to any race. It can happen to anybody, you know what I mean? And, um, it's not, um, the first time it happened around the world. It happened in thousands of times around the country and around the world and stuff. So, you know, take this for example. A male officer asks a woman to shake her bra and expose her breasts in front of the officer like he's a pervert or something. I mean, that's not, um... That's not uh, normal right there. I mean, clearly the officer is probably being a perv or something like that. So you might want to look into that before you start um, talking about some dumb race and stuff and stuff. And if you watch that video, and you can clearly see that uh, the officer in front arresting that dude is not white at all. He's black. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not trying to be racist. I'm not trying to be prejudiced or whatever, but I'm just speaking out the truth for what's going on right now. I mean, I just, I just seen this video like a hour ago and uh, kind of disturbed me and kind of upset me because you know, I believe that um most people in my race are like getting arrested and more white people or it's just the same. It's just the same. That's it. I mean, it was just crazy that, you know why he got arrested? He went into a church and recorded and just um, just started talking. And he just went into a church and just, he just got arrested. I mean, what is up with that? Clearly, you can't uh, be free no more. Clearly, everybody's rights been taken away for some uh, simple like... For instance, if I uh, go to a church or if I walk to a store or if I wear um, clothes that don't even fit... I mean, can I get arrested for that? Of course not. I mean, <laughs> that's uh, fucked up right there. But um, anyway, sorry, I don't mean to cuss, but uh, just wanted to uh, express this to y'all so you know what's going on. Now, this is uh, my response. I mean, this is not my um, real thing. It's somebody else's thing. I'm just responding to it so they can know how I feel about that video. I mean, does it deserve to get responses? Of course. Everybody's supposed to give attention. I mean, this is serious right here. I mean, should they do something about it? Of course should they should do something about it. Either it's a um, boy, girl, uh, purple, blue, white person, whatever. I mean, um, it just happens to everybody. And I still seen this video like uh, a few months ago that uh, a woman got a strip search. She was completely naked. I mean, it was not even our race, thank goodness. But she was a uh, Caucasian, and uh, she was completely scourged, and a uh, woman pleading, begging to stop. And was that for? She was uh, called for help in the first place, and the police came, and then she was asked to show her ID. She and That's when things got out of control. She was placed in a squad car. She was taken into the station. She was com she was completely searched and stripped naked, and uh, after that she was booked for no reason. Okay, just like that um, mother of two that got twenty years for firing a warrant shot against her abusive husband. Yeah, that's p police stupidity right there. Now, um, I'm just not kidding, folks. I mean, thought the the law is supposed to protect us. Now it's hurting us. Now, if a fire, if someone burned a house down, where's the, go the police gonna be at? I don't know. Maybe they're gonna be goofing off, or then maybe they'll take too long to get here, and they say, "Uh, well, you got to uh, witness the, um, witness the arson. We can't do anything about." It. For real? Whew. Well, that's us.
that's messed up right there. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted you to talk about today so you can understand how I feel and and what my response is. So, um, when stuff like this goes on, I mean, it doesn't happen here in Huntsville because you talking about black folks getting harassed in Huntsville, Alabama. Welcome to Huntsville, Alabama where black folks get harassed. Well, um, everybody gets harassed, um, you know, for the simple stuff. I mean, it's not just Huntsville, Alabama. It's around the country and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just not Huntsville, Alabama. It's just like uh, any other city and any other state. So, yeah. If you feel better about it, I just told y'all, okay? Well, um, I think that's the newscast for today, and I'll see you next time. But until next time, I'm j Dog. I'm out. Peace. Mike Wilmer. Mike Wilmer.